It's loud. Hi, we are Sarah and Igor, two full-time travelers currently exploring Southeast Asia. In Chiang Rai, we were charmed by the incredibly beautiful and unique temples. Hello, beautiful people, and welcome from Chiang Rai. We arrived here from Chiang Mai. Those names can be a little bit confusing, but we took a bus and it was really easy, right? So we're gonna leave all the information in the description box. And now we are standing in the front of Blue Temple, which is also called Blue Tiger. It was constructed by a Chiang Rai artist and was finished in 2016. This place looks like it's still not finished, so they are building something here also. But right in the front of us, there's a beautiful gold and blue temple. Look how interesting it is. It is a god, it is a human, but it is also a fish. <laughs> in this dragon's mouth, some really clever birds make their own home because they are building like a new nest over there and it's a quite a nice place. It's also hidden from the sun. You have shadow all the time. So perfect place to stay. Besides the fact that this temple is pretty new, it's just a few years old, you would never guess it once you stand right in front of it because of course, even if it's a newer building, they use this old technique, this old architecture, how they also used to build temples hundreds of years ago. And that's also what we like, because in many, many years in the future, if you don't inform yourself before, you would never guess when those temples were built. Wow, here from the inside, it's really, really nice, because honestly, a lot of temples are pretty from the outside, but simply designed from the inside. But this one is really something special. In each temple on the side, you have always chairs like those, and they are reserved for the monks, so no one else is allowed to sit here, but monks which are serving in this temple. The whole temple is really beautifully painted. The walls, the ceiling, the shutters are some kind of made of wood, but with gold, with mandala. It is really interesting. And also the doors are made of some kind of metals with really beautiful stones. The amount of detail in this temple is just overwhelming. Also the wooden panels in between the windows are really nicely carved in shape of temple, flowers and some animals and each column got different animals so I think it has something to do with the Chinese year calendar because there is a dog, there is a pig, there is also a monkey so it might be the reason. The front of the temple, it is really beautiful and everyone is there but don't forget about the back of the temple because it's still really beautiful and there's no one here. I love those cute little monks look at their faces and someone even put a hat, like a real hat on some of them. They are so cute. Look at this really little face. <laughs> You definitely realize how well maintained this place is on your way to the bathroom because there is like a small area with humongous, beautiful koi fishes. It's really thought through till the last detail. And I found a friend. Can I have two friends? <laughs> Let's not lose it. <laughs> I love strawberries, but every single time the first one or two strawberries are so painful <laughs> because it's so sour. But once I get used to it, I really start to enjoy them. Already better. Of course, there's a cat cafe in Chiang Rai. And of course, we need to go there, right? <laughs> About 25 cats here, but not all of them like to be pet. Like those two, for example, they're chilling now, so let's not disturb them. There's one also over there cleaning himself. This little fella took my pillow, so I'm going to sit here properly, so I had to bring it out from another table. They even have their own bench, which is occupied by a cheetah and a lion. That's my place, little fella. 
was your place. <laughs> found a friend? <laughs> he found me. It's private pillow. <laughs> I don't know why, but if you watched also our talk coffee video in Bangkok, somehow I feel most connected to the fat ones. We're a fluffy one. You like it, eh? You like that? Oh, you're so fluffy. Food is here, and I've got mine with mushrooms and avocado and some french fries. And I have like a traditional cheeseburger with some black bun and of course I removed already the tomato because I forgot to tell them to remove it and I don't like tomato at all. <laughs> it's really really yum. Mm. Mm. What they use to do the fake meat? I think it's beans. Be beans. That's really good. Good morning, everyone. I think I'm allowed to say good morning because for us it is really, really early today. We have to get up at about 6:30 in the morning to come to this beautiful white temple. It is probably the most popular place here in Chiang Rai. That's why you need to get up early to avoid all the tourists. <laughs> it's loud. Even if the White Temple is of course a temple itself, it is also definitely a masterpiece because the artists who created this place were so super creative. Next to the white color, of course, it is also decorated with so many details like dragons, schools, some monster hands and also some beautiful koi fishes. Kinda creepy to see all the hands here next to mine and it's like in a zombie movie, I would say. Look on all of those beautiful details, like here, for example, they used, I believe, clay and then some glass or mirror pieces. It was really amazing and it looks so beautiful in the sun. Wow. If you think this temple looks amazing from the outside, you definitely have to see it from the inside because there is a huge painting with this typical dragon but there are so many details you have so many superheroes like batman superman spider-man hulk sailor moon pikachu elvis michael jackson and many many other important and famous people so make sure to visit it also from the inside we were unfortunately not allowed to take any pictures or videos from the inside of the building but that's even one more reason for you to come here and see it with your own eyes one thing for sure it was definitely worth getting up so early and coming to Chiang Rai even just to see only this one temple it is absolutely stunning, it is absolutely beautiful. If you're gonna be in Chiang Mai and you are considering to come to Chiang Rai, it is definitely worth it. Right next to the White Temple there is another yellow building and you may ask yourself, what's there? Is it a temple? Is it an important building? Why no one mention it? Well, it's only the bathroom, but it looks also really stunning from the outside. They definitely like here all those superheroes and some Disney characters. It's really incredible how they put them like everywhere, even on some trees. Here you have Maleficent, here you have Logan, it's cool, looking like Jack Sparrow, Captain America, Terminator, Deadpool and Robocop. It's so beautiful. This one's a little bit different than the one we had in Phuket. It's with some leaves here. It's really beautiful. I want to take it home even. I don't want to leave it. <laughs> Most of the temples you can buy body leaf, which looks like this. And basically you can write your uh, prey, for example, for your family, for your friends, and then hang it on the tree. This temple was made by Chiang Rai artists, but it is actually not a real temple. It is only a building which looks like temple, but officially it's not. So guys, meet the guy who created the whole temple. I don't know how to pronounce his name, but 
here it is it was him there are not much options for vegetarian food here in Chiang Rai but we found something and today we are in this beautiful French style a restaurant first we were thinking it's French but then we realized it's probably New Orleans because of the jazz music playing it is really beautiful here and we've got our breakfast I mean for me it's breakfast for eager it's more of like a lunch I got souffle, which is looking really delicious, and Igor got his gnocchi with pesto. Mm. I kind of miss Italy, so I have this delicious looking gnocchi with some fake meat. Gnocchi is really good, and the meat. I don't know what it's supposed to be, but I like the combination of both definitely. We just traveled from New Orleans to Italy. <laughs> <laughs> of course, we cannot leave Chiang Rai without visiting the famous night market. Every single time we just visit another night market, I automatically go into the risk that Sarah finds something to buy. I'm always so naive about that. I got really beautiful skirt which I bought in Croatia many years ago and every time I'm wearing this skirt someone is approaching me asking where I bought it and or just telling me basically that this skirt is really nice and something really funny happened today I got my new pants on and it show <laughs> and guess what happened someone approached me and asked about the pants Thank you wallet I've got no money no cards but somehow I still think I need it <laughs> Sarah one last time roti in Thailand I'm not sure I'm really full so I don't have space but I see you want it of course let's take one to share okay didn't take a lot to convince me <laughs> <laughs> Do you want banana milk I'm okay yeah. banana and with Yes. One last time. <laughs> Should I try? Of course. Delicious as always. You're gonna miss it. Definitely. Our time in Thailand unfortunately came to an end. We've been here for more than 80 days all together. So it has a special place in our hearts but it's time for a new adventure if you did like this vlog don't forget to like it subscribe to our channel and leave a comment and we're gonna see you next one bye